We got any more um, artists in here or anything that you're doing in the community that you would like to uh, let the people know what you're doing? Uh, I would definitely like to hear more about the HBO thing later on. You know, man. It's interesting. Man. Um, Natalie, the girl's poetic. Natalie, the girl's poetic. Natalie? All right, Natalie, yeah! yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to start out because, as usual, I love my black man. Church! All right, so let's <laughs> start off with that one. Um, it's called All Inspiring Black Men. Black Men. And this poem is meant as absolutely no disrespect to any other man. It's just that I am truly an awe-inspiring black man fan. And this is my own to you. It's the rhythm of your step, the lyric in your tone, understanding beyond belief in the twinkle of your eyes, the smile in your heart, the power in your hands, the love in the spirit that keeps the continuous tie. Brothers in afros or sporting twists, curly waves or walled with a clean cut shade, a roughneck child, a Wall Street kid. Uniquely expressing yourself with locks or a low cut fade. You're not a race of dogs or an animal of any kind. Underneath, I can see past the jagged exterior. You're completely gifted. Your creativity is abounding. Truth be told, it's your splendor that can make some other men feel inferior. You see, I understand you. I realize your heart. Even the brothers who aren't exactly saints. You're the ultimate protector. Be my mass destruction shield. Because it's your nature that will elevate you out of a world of constraints. I am an awe-inspiring black man fan. It's the breadth of your nose, your soft, supple lips. This beautiful creature has been unappreciated for so long. All the shades of black, your sizes that vary, even if you're five feet tall, you still stand large and strong. Your sharp, witty tongue, just a sweet under stone. I'm so mystified by your undeniable charms. The broad width of your chest, the mighty force in your reach. I feel completely safe when I'm wrapped in your arms. Proficient speeches or comfortable street slang. So filled with the brilliance, I can't keep <coughs> my eyes from the tears. A southern drawl or even a Caribbean accent. <coughs> it's only your words that can softly caress my ears. See, I just don't want no other. They just won't do, so please. Help me in making my adoration understand. Appreciate our strength and embrace my loveliness. Have an undying admiration for this or inspiring black woman. You see, this poem is meant as absolutely no disrespect to any other man. It's just that I am truly an awe inspiring black man fan. And this has been my own TV. <laughs> Since it's Black History Month, I'll do one kind of uh, empowerment. It's called Stand Back and Watch Me Fly. Um, kind of takes on a lot of meaning to me, but we'll take Black History Month. That's what I started out with. Okay. It's your mind that can never see me free. You never thought that my blood would lax. My soul has been lined for the future. My arms are lifted with the feathers of the past. Oh, see, you judge me because you think I'm in second, third, maybe even fourth place. But my Lord said the race isn't over yet. Yeah. You should take a chance. You should go against the odds. Because, see, I, I'm truly the best bet. My bones are too strong for the weight to be pushed down. Being pushed out that high, your souls would have died. Not only did I rise from that dark deceit, I endured with grace and with love. I survived. So stand back and watch me fly. Now why would I stay grounded when I can stand on the mountains I'm from? There's spirits that overcame oceans of torment. <laughs> you still think you're the lucky one? Oh, I'm not weak, I'm not floppy, I'm not out of breath, but I'm made from a spirit that can withstand. Beatings, sprains, rapings, even hangings. Suffering through genocide brought on by another man. So you don't know that my beauty is not who I know or what I'm doing, but my beauty is where I come from and what I'm predestined to be. 
It's my creativity that changes years of destructive situations into showcases of my people's pride and dignity. See, I don't just believe that I can fly. I really am flying. So you can come, you can fly with me, or honey, you can just stand back and watch me fly. Right. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>